In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an IDX Broker quick search widget. What you have to do is you first will log into your IDX Broker admin panel and you're going to go to Designs and Widgets and Manage to see what widgets you have currently. The first thing that you can do is you can use the quick search that's already pre-set up for you in here. All you have to do is simply click on View Code and it will give you the code to use in your website. You can also click on edit widget and it will give you different options to edit the widget. So this is the most simple way to have a quick search um, code that you can insert anywhere on your website. You can also go to create and start from scratch. Simply select the type of widget you want, which is going to be a quick search. You want to tell them if you want it to be responsive or not, which most of the time you want to say yes. For the widget name, I always give it a descriptive name so that I know where I'm placing this widget and if I need to come back and edit it, it's easy to find. Or if one of my developers needs to come back and edit it, it's easy to find. So maybe home page quick search would be a good one. You can set the width here if you don't have it in responsive. And you can ask, actually also have it so that when somebody clicks the search button, it opens the widget search in a new window. Typically, I keep this to off. For the property type, you can set it to show, hide, or exclude. All of the different fields, you can set this way. The default property type, if you want it to be residential, you can set it to residential and it'll automatically be residential. Price field, you can show or hide. You can also have a price in here. I usually leave this blank. Bedrooms and bathrooms, same thing. Square footage, I typically exclude this because it's an extra field and the city list you typically want to show. If you have a custom city list you want to put on your home page, you can always go up to the top and go to um, preferences and city, city zip and county list and you can create a custom one specifically for this widget. Once you're done, you're going to go ahead and click on build widget or you can also click here to set the default value. So if you want that to be something specific. You can hit save and it will set the default value. Then build the widget and you get your handy dandy little widget code right here. So you want to copy your code, go over to your site, and usually if you're using the equity theme work you're going to find that section right here where you can use a text widget and drag it into place and pop it in. Or if you have it in your pages you can do it um, through the page itself. But typically I'm going to do it as a text widget and you would just set it up. I'm going to add it here just for the heck of it. Paste it in and then save and it would automatically show up on that page. The other way is to add it directly into your pages. Come directly to your page. In this case, this site is using the Avada theme, so it has the um, Fusion Editor. So you can come in here and click on your Pages Editor. And I would put this right here and save it and update my page. check my work and there's your quick search. Now if you know CSS you can use some CSS to style this but if not you can contact a developer like me and we will be happy to help you out and style it any way you want. Thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions give us a call at 517-917-0582 or drop us an email at support at yoursiteneedsme.com. Yeah.